Tony Daunt is the executive director of the Michigan Freedom Fund, and he's on our AT&T line right now. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, sir. Thank you for having me. What are your um, sort of reactions to the midterm election results, concerns, and is there any good news in the mix? Well, um, you know, uh, certainly good news. Um, it, it, it was expected to be a, a, a tough year for Republicans here in Michigan, and I think we saw that in many ways. Um, but for the the two chambers, the, the state Senate and the state House, to retain majorities in a tough climate like this is is no small feat. And uh, kudos to, to the teams there that worked very hard to make sure that that happened. And uh, we look forward to working with those uh, with those leaders moving forward and, and putting things on uh, Governor Whitmer's desk that will keep the momentum moving forward. Do you think that, um, and this again is calling for speculation, maybe to some degree, that she is aware of the burden she carries now? I, I think, you know, anybody, um, when you transition from, from being a candidate to uh, winning that office and, and staring down the responsibilities that now face you, I think uh, it, it is human nature to uh, to reflect on what that means. And hopefully for for uh Governor-elect Whitmer, she she understands that Michigan has made some incredible progress over the last eight years, and a lot of that is because of the work Governor Snyder and the Republicans in the legislature have done to turn things around, to make us competitive, to bring jobs back. And uh, going back to big tax and spend policies that we've already tried and that continue to fail throughout the country um, is not the answer. And we'll do our part at the Michigan Freedom Fund to make sure she realizes that. Well, it will, in addition to the Michigan Freedom Fund, with the Republican-controlled House and Senate, be the ultimate checks and balances, won't it? It's, it certainly um, is, is, is helpful. Um, you know, for, for conservatives, sometimes divided government is, uh, is the best answer, especially when things, when you've made progress, uh, because then you know, you can't make, uh, you know, kind of wild moves one way or the other yeah. that could upset that apple cart. Would you rather have control of both houses or the or, or have the governorship and lose both houses? Well, you know, as, as somebody who does this for a living, it's always nice to have everything. Um, but if, <laughs> if, <laughs> if you had, this is sort of a Sophie's choice. If you, were, it, if you could have one or the other, which would you have? Yeah, I, I think you know it, it's it's good to have both of of the legislature because that does allow uh, to 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 write to write the laws and to set policy and uh, to take things to the governor, whether that's whether that's a Republican governor or a Democratic governor. Quite honestly, you know, because if you've got both chambers united, it, it shows that there is some momentum towards things, and uh, it puts the governor on on the spot of having to sign things or come up with a reason why they're not signing it. You can only use the veto pen so many times realistically, as, as I think what you mean, right? Yeah, you know, it, it's, it's whether you're Republican or Democrat, to just, to just say no, just be the party of no, be the person of no, um, it does come back uh, to haunt you. And I think that's what we saw um, nationally uh, in many ways, um, you know, with, with uh, Republicans in, in years past was, you know, claims of getting things done, but then nothing nothing was to happen, um, and, and promises weren't kept. And I think that comes back to bite you. And so you make promises, you better deliver on them. How do legislators and incoming legislators and general people learn more about the Michigan Freedom Fund? Well, visit our website, uh, michiganfreedomfund.com. And uh, if you want to sign up for our newsletter, there's a space for you to do that. And We sure will. Tony Dawn, thank you.